Hey guys, welcome back to a very quick video on equations with variables on both sides. Now, this may seem hard at first, but over time, you'll get really good at it, and eventually, you'll become a master. Now, what we're going to do first is simplify. We want to simplify so we can get it down as little terms as possible, and we can get it, well, simple, so we can easily manage it. Now, we have 9x minus 7 plus 3x. We know we can simplify this because x on 9 and 3 are both similar. So if they have the same terms, 9x plus 3x is equal to 12x. And we don't do anything to the 7, so we can just bring it down. And then we have 5 plus 3x plus 6. So we have 5 and positive 6. So we know since they're not being multiplied by anything and they're the same terms, we can add them together. So 5 plus 6 is equal to 11. So we have 11 plus 3x since we want to bring that down. So now all we have to do is solve. We solve by trying to isolate the variable on one side and another set of numbers that aren't the variable on another side. So we can do anything we want to as long as it's done to both sides and eventually we have a variable and a number. So let's take 3x here. We could subtract it from both sides. We have subtracting 3x here. We have 12 minus 3x since they're like terms. We subtract them and we have 9x minus 7 is equal to 11. And since we got rid of the x, 3x, we can cancel it out. Now, what we're going to do is we have the variable on this side and no variable on this side. So, since there is something being subtracted over here, we want it on this side so we can have the variable by itself. So we have 18 is equal to 9x. Now, all we have to do is divide by what x is being multiplied to get a singular x. So, when we divide, 9x divided by 9 is going to be 1, which is just going to be x, and then 18 divided by 9 is going to be 2. So, x is equal to 2. Now, just to make sure, we can simplify this, or substitute it, into the equation. So, 9 times 2 minus 7 plus 3 times 2 is equal to 5 plus 3 times 2 plus 6. So if we multiply, we get 18 minus 7 plus 3 times 2 is 6 is equal to 5 plus 3 times 2 is equal to 6 plus 6. So 18 minus 7 is equal to 11 plus 6, that's equal to 17. And over here, we have 5 plus 6 is equal to 11 plus 6 again. That is going to equal 17. So, we have our answer right here. X is going to be equal to 2. I hope this helps, and I hope you have a great day.